At times he was sleeping on the job, and when he was awake, well, he could barely stand. Tonight, we have an update to our IT team report. An Endless Pools certified installer fell asleep on the job, leaving a woman's pool falling apart and wiring sparking. She wanted her money back, but the company wouldn't budge until our story aired. News 2's investigator Rebecca Klett went looking for answers and help. Good evening. Endless pools wouldn't respond to my calls, my emails, my tweets, my Facebook messages, but they were watching our story. Jean Engel captured this video of the certified pool installer barely able to stand. He was on crutches and bruised from head to toe. His bad workmanship cost Gene an extra $3,000 in electrical work to fix his botched job. Gene tried to get her money back from Endless Pools. The contractor was an independent contractor and that Endless Pools is in no way responsible for him. They wouldn't budge until our story aired. So they're not taking any responsibility? Oh, no, absolutely not, no. But they're still giving you some money back? Right, right. A um, few days later, I got a letter in the mail from him saying that for the sake of customer satisfaction, they were going to go ahead and pay the electric bill for me. Following our report, local attorney Jay Ward helped Jean navigate the negotiation for a money back. Ward says if you feel like you've been scammed, start by calling the Department of Consumer Affairs or the BBB. They often help consumers resolve disputes for free. Rebecca Klett, News 2. If you have something you want the I-Team to investigate, email us at iteam at wcbd.com. You can also call the I-Team hotline, 843-216-4949.